are your major concerns during this time because it's first november new month starting you have your examination of on 18th of december so you have like let's eliminate this weekend you have exactly 45 days remaining for your exam so what dekho in last 45 days ke andar this should be your entire focus upon or you should be focusing upon these things only first is c c stands for your concepts or the notes aapke paas already aapke bahut sare notes honge uh, whatever thing you have prepared in uh, chahe short note long form note whatever you have either you have a book you have digital notes whatever you have use them apne concepts ko grab karna start karo with the help of the revision part okay jitna bhi aapne study kiya hai no matter how many units you have prepared now agar bahut important koi topic choda hai keep on doing that but agar normal topic like agar aapne diversity of life form choda hai it's okay if you have left animal physiology few part it's okay knowing the fact you are from botany background or the other way around so try to focus upon your strong areas for the time being right try to focus only and only on your strong areas and work upon your strong areas because abhi if you focus upon what you have not done you are not going to get anything better is whatever you have completed whatever you have dealt with try to make it more stronger and try to वर्क अपॉन इट इन अ वे कि उसके आप क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर सको जो मेजर कंसर्न यहाँ पर रिविजन का है एंड आई थिंक एवरी सिंगल स्टूडेंट इफ एनी वन वुड बी वॉचिंग द रिकॉर्डिंग पार्ट ऑल्सो सो रिविजन इज समथिंग विच एवरी स्टूडेंट लैग राइट विच एवरी सिंगल स्टूडेंट लैग इन सो दिस रिविजन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ डू यू हैव टू रिवाइज सी एट दिस टाइम यू डू नॉट हैव अभी बिकॉज यू हैव जस्ट फोर्टी फाइव डेज लेफ्ट यू डू नॉट हैव दैट मच टाइम दैट यू सिट एंड रीड एवरी थिंग ऑन द होल पार्ट राइट तो लॉन्ग फॉर्मैट नोट्स को रिवाइज करने का अभी टाइम नहीं है बिकॉज अगर हम स्ट्रैटेजिकली प्रिपेयर करते हैं सो आर एंटायर प्रेपरेशन शुड बी बाइफो गेटेड इन टू थ्री प्लस टू प्लस वन राइट इनिशियल थ्री मंथस ऑफ थ्योरी विद एवरी वीकेंड ऑफ रिविजन देन टू मंथस ऑफ पी वाई क्यू प्रैक्टिस एंड एवरीथिंग एंड लास्ट वन मंथ प्रैक्टिस प्रीवियस एयर क्वेश्चन रिविजन रिकॉलिंग एंड ऑल द पार्ट सो लॉन्ग फॉर्म इफ यू हैव अ लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम लेट से समन हु जस्ट प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन एंड यू हैव टाइम ऑफ सेवन टू एट आवर्स अ डे sit and start revising or start learning the facts and by learning i am not asking you to mug up i am not asking you to rote memorize it see if your concepts are clear from the beginning or from the time when you started preparing if you were working on your concepts things would have would be much much easier for you because if you repeatedly just keep on reading that part or recalling the concept in your head it becomes easier there are two things one is revision and one is recalling revision is what revision is you have your notes open you read the part and you try to understand and correlate the entire segment second is recalling part what is the recalling segment all about recalling is like what i used to do during my preparation time let's say today i have revised a uh, cell cycle for example cell cycle and the various transition parts so tomorrow morning before starting anything new i would keep my notebook close and without opening up the notebook in the morning first thing i would do is sit and recall everything with the help of a pen and paper take a normal uh, white sheet or whatever register you want to take and a pen keep on jotting down or keep on scribbling down all the things that you can recall about that topic for example for cell cycle uh, i am able to recall all of the stages all of the gaps like g1 s g2 everything i am able to recall and then i am able to recall all the factings or all the facts and everything related to it so whatever you can recall try recalling and writing it down here no need to beautify it you no need to waste your time in like writing it down the whole sentences no just keep like for example g1 s g2 and then the part of it 
then whatever features you can recall about it right keep on writing that segment as well and this this activity will take maximum 15 to 20 minute of yours followed by that open up your notes then and then check what all things you were not able to uh, recall so next day repeat the same activity for every topic or for every day every preceding day you have to repeat the same activity every single day it will help you to retain the things and it will help you to learn and revise the things and recall and also cross verify whether the segment is in your head or not if you do let's say cell cycle you have recalled for 3 days consecutively by the end of the third day or by the time you reach to the third recalling segment you will very very easily be able to see that every single thing is stored in your mind okay so this is how the revision and recalling of works first day you might be able to not recall like let's say 30 points next day 10 points would be there and last day you would be having everything in your mind imprinted okay so did you understand how you have to revise and recall and recalling occurs like this only you cannot think about just reading and moving on to the next topic no read next day do not open the notebook and try recalling that and you can maintain a separate sheet for the recalling segment only no need to beautify it just keep on jumbling and writing the things let's say this is your entire sheet write down whatever you can recall for the uh, stages gaps the features the transition points what all uh, cdk cycling occurs what uh, important proteins you can recall so this one sheet will help you uh, analyze all your retaining things and then you can carry forward with your next day revision then on the other day revise whatever you did on the previous day let's say now you revised cancer topic or you have revised cancer apoptosis and all these things so recall all of that every day one hour should be for your recalling part next thing is part b question now if your revision is strong shilpa then uh, who was asking about part b i think it was shilpa only so see and for other students as well obviously so part b is completely factual completely based upon facts right so if your revision is strong if your retention power is strong automatically your facts will be stronger right automatically you very easily be able to like jot down all the pointers revise all the pointers and like mark the answer in a go but this comes with a strong and a very very solid revision it is not something that you uh, do it for a day and then think about it everything will be there in your mind no there are times where you might forget the entire topic altogether there would be times where you might end up not uh, learning any one single thing as well but consistently if you practice the same thing consistently if you keep on doing the same thing this is going to help you a lot time management next part see time management is based upon i would very frankly be speaking based on your motivation okay and based upon your strategic planning of the day see if you have planned the day properly like if i tell you about myself on any random day during this time as well when i'm working as a educator as someone who manages the business and everything if i am not having a plan in my mind in the morning very clear i end up wasting the entire day okay so it's better that before like every week every month like for example my november month is starting so i have to make sure that previous till like last two days of my last month should be utilized for planning the entire november month right it should be the planning of what i have to do so same goes for your preparation as well that whatever day you have like when i was preparing if i tell you let's say every sunday i used to take out one hour analyze maybe it might be like during my theory time or my revision time if it is a theory week which i have to like complete my theory initially what will i be doing initially let's say uh, on sunday at 7 pm my studies got over it's a uh, off day so i completed my studies before time so now what happens now 
I'll sit for an hour. I'll see what do I have to do for the next entire week, starting from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday and Saturday. So I'll keep on writing what all. things do i have to do and what source do i have do i have my source ready with myself right now you will be prepare revising so let's say it's saturday today tomorrow is sunday so on every sunday of the preceding week so monday to saturday make an entire plan what all things do you have to revise maintain that planner for yourself have a notebook where you are maintaining that plan for yourself while i was preparing i used to have my white board in front of me in my study uh, room i had a white book white board and i used to write it down the entire thing that what do i have to read or what do i have to revise on the next day so next day in the morning i will not be having a confusion i will not be having a dilemma in my mind that what should i now do everything should be planned everything should be ready in front of me in the morning i wake up at 5 pm 5 am 6 am whatever time i wake up i'll be waking up opening up my notebook and starting my studies right so time management is directly related to our planning if your planning is right you will not waste your time at all if your planning is not there like you don't know what you have to do the next day you don't know what you have to do uh, that week you will end up just juggling through the pages you will just end up flipping the pages ki acha aaj ye kar lete hain ya fir aaj ye kar lete hain right so try to not do that and have a plan i'll show you an entire 45 day plan as well wait for that also 